Hello and welcome to a new episode of the UIM Completionist. And this is the one, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one where we hit 99 Herblore. I just have one thing to do before we start and we are off to the races. So we are starting with 2227 total level with 88 Herblore and with 311 collections logged. And that one thing we needed to do was to mine Volcanic Ash. This should be enough to make all of the Harlanders I have into compost potions and fill up my bottomless bucket to full, as well as uh, storing 1000 Ultra Compost at the Leprechaun. So let's do a last look at the looting bag while it's still overflowing with those fantastic supplies. And let's go dig into that sweet, sweet Herblore experience. The first potion we're going to be making, as I mentioned, is Compost Potion from Harlanders. And I think I already showcased this method in episode 6, so I'm just going to do it real quick. We unnote 6 or 5, depending on your inventory, Harlander unfinished potions and make Compost Potions. Then we use them on a compost from compost packs bought from the store. And then we make super compost with that. And then we use volcanic ash on the super compost to turn it into ultra compost. And I think this is like the only place in the game so far I found inventory tag useful because between super compost and ultra compost, they both look like black mud or something like that. And then when we're finished, we use the buckets on our bottomless bucket and then use this chest in here in Lambridge to sell empty buckets and repeat. This is terrible Herblor XP per hour, but it's very good to replenish your super compost charges. Ultra compost. If we check the tool leper count now, I have my ultra compost maxed out and the bottomless bucket is maxed out as well. I'll just store a little bit of super compost that I managed to make and I can't be bothered making more. So I'll be dropping this compost and we will be finishing up all the Harlander potions in Piscatoris. And the reason we moved all the way to Piscatoris is we can use Mr. Arnold Litzpur here as both a bank to unnote our potions and after we make some we can trade them and sell them and we don't have to drop so it's very very convenient this will be the place i will be doing all the create and drop potions which will be i think harlanders and lanta dimes and all the super attacks strength and defenses that i don't plan to keep i'm about to be done with all the harlander potions we as you can see got almost 84k gold just by selling the potions back for nine gold each to mr arnold and it took us all the way from 88 herblore to almost 90 close to 90 so the next potion we're gonna move on to is sadly toad flax what i do for toad flax is i collect the uh, swamp toads in a swamp at t uh tree gnome not village at the grand tree Yes, and then I swapped my cloak from construction cape to fishing cape, so I have an easier access to a bank. I collect the full inventory, drop half of it, unnote the potions, and then making sure that I click on the unfinished potion first, I just make those uh, two inventories, then I unnote half of inventory and teleport back to the swamp using the royal pod and that was 90 herblor just randomly teleported to fill the hills to record a thumbnail and there's my first lucky inkling on the account i still think it was worth recording we're gonna make the last batch of agility potions here stoked to be done to be honest this was a lot of effort and I'm happy to move on to a slightly easier herb. Actually, historically, it had a history of being extremely tedious to, do, to make. And I'm talking about lantadimes. Because what you would do with lantadimes is you would use them to... Uh, where am I going? To make anti-fire potions. And that would be pretty useful for me as well. 
but you would have to go to the blue dragon cave and uh, collect all the what what do you call it um, the scales and then grind them and make the potions on the spot. It was one more running potion, and now we can collect potato cactus and just make them 14 by 14 or rather 13 by 13. Uh, just like any other potions, I'm gonna make magic potions by Mr. Arnold Lindsport that I showed before, uh, and that would be some easy and comfortable XP. And by making agility potions, we also hit 91 herb lore. 92 herb lore, extremely relaxed, high quality herb lore experience. Big luxury on UIM, and I decided to go and just do at a real, uh, normal, usual bank chest because Arnold would have paid me for the potions and I would have to drop the coins. A little bit more hassle. After Lanta Dimes, I have moved on to Irid Herbs and I will be uh, making super attacks obviously from those. The secondary is very easy to get, so that's default. And I will be saving some for super combats, and on top of that, I will be saving some more just to have super attacks for places like Hydra. Uh, because I don't need to sip a defense potion there, because it's generally you can avoid all damage with prayer. So I would just want to use super attacks and not waste super combats. This is one of those potions that if you want to save, you have to decant at the Grand Exchange and use this fabled yellow UIM square, let's say. Uh, it's not too pleasant to make. Decanting is a little bit tedious, but it's still amazing that we can keep noted herbs and uh, noted potions, I mean. When I started my UIM adventure, this update just came out and I can't imagine playing UIM without noted potions to my disposal. About to be done with Irids, I had pretty much over 11,000, close or over 11,000, can't remember at the moment. So we got pretty much two full levels out of this and now it's time to move on to Quorms. As you can see, I saved up some super attacks, enough for all my Torstals plus a thousand for tasks like Hydra, uh, but for Quarms I will just be saving up enough for Torstals and then the rest will be uh, sold here at Mr. Arnold as well. I do not need to keep any super strengths and same with Cadentine Slater for super defenses. We are 93 and very very close to 94 Herb. Uh, it finally happened, I missed the level, here's 94 about to hit a herbler level here for 95 and soon to be done with corn potions we will be moving on probably as you guessed it to cadentines and make super defenses and then combine them all with torstals for super combats i also had a small thought and did a little calculation today and i probably will be using super combats for green dragons during my 99 prayer grind. Uh, I will have to test it in reality. It looks like I would be using 500 for those super combats uh, out of slightly over 2000 that I will have. It does sound like a little bit of a waste, so I might stick with just using super attacks for this. I'm not entirely sure yet. And then using the dragon battle axe for the spec. Also, uh, I did level uh, Herblor at Mr. Arnold using Super Strength while I was streaming a little Guild Wars and I accidentally sold 10 unfinished potions to him. So rip 1250 experience. I don't remember how much XP I had saved up before I decided to start this grind, but I know it wasn't much above the 99 threshold, so I hope the missing out on this 1200 experience will not make me suddenly not get 99 from this grant and i would have to just go get a couple herbs but that also would not be too much of an issue 
We finished up with super defenses and I moved on to what is the possibly the most UIM method in the entire game and that's making super combats using sacks of vegetables. Very, very niche knowledge that you need right now. Uh, empty sack accepts vegetables in a specific order. First it takes cabbages, then onions and then potatoes. I tried to figure it out with having 10 cabbages and you need 5 vegetables to go in first. You will see what I mean in a second. So how you do it is you empty both of your sacks so you get 10 onions and 5 cabbages. Then you unnote your super strength. You fill the first sack and since cabbages go first you get 5 in your bag. Unnote another potion. Then you fill your second sack and empty the first one. So you have five slots left and then fill it up again so you can unnote your torstals. Then you use torstal on a potion to start making them. They have to be four dosed for the potion to work because a super combats require four dose. Then you decant them to any dosage. So I do two, for example, and then you decant again back to four. And you're golden. Previously, there used to be a method where you used uh, just dropping vials, but this is much faster. So hopefully, we'll be get uh, we'll get done with those star stalls in no time. We will be hitting ninety six herblore here, which means we are getting closer and closer to ninety nine. And those potions are definitely very slow. I probably you saw that on a previous clip where I was showcasing how to make them. So the XP is terrible, but this time I just can't wait to have those potions. I never had super combats ever in my RuneScape career, so it's gonna be pretty cool to feel like a, a big boy player, uh, let's say. This was a slog, but I'm extremely excited to have those potions done with. Let's decant to two and back to four, and we should have all of our super combats in the version that I want them. 2148. So before I mentioned that I will be using super combats on dragons for prayer, I'm not so sure about that now. Mm, that would have to wait for the prayer video so I can just test it. And now I can drop all of those super defenses, super strengths, my onions and cabbages, and uh, we will be moving on to prayer potions. I will need to note them all, so that would uh, not be too fun to do, but I can't wait to have a lot of prayer potions, and after that we'll be moving on to super restores. So all the potions that I have left are noted ones, because then we will... I think have just two potions to make, which is super energies and staminas. I was looking forward to this moment for a long time. We will be hitting 90 attack, and even though it's not being finished with melees by any means, because I still have nine attack levels to go and then 19 defense levels, I've been craving change for a long time. Here we go, 90 attack. And uh, I, I just need to change it up. I also don't think that camping golems would be good for me anymore. Uh, there's a lot of monsters you can kill to train melees in free-to-play, so I think golems are not a good choice anymore. I, I don't think uh, the cores were are good, as good as I thought they would be. Now I will be going to Wilderness and making myself the Rune Axe and Rune Scimitar, and I will be probably hopping between AFKing use and fighting some other monsters, depending on uh, how I feel at the moment. One last thing to mention is the Rune Essence stack. It's over 23,000, and it would be enough to bump me to 70 Rune Crafting, which is, well, Rune Crafting in free to play on a UIM is really hard really really hard so uh, that would be fantastic but in the future i plan to camp minotaurs for beginner clues probably minotaurs and those drop noted essence as well so i will not be focusing on using up the essence now so we just start another stack in the future i think for now i will be 
probably AFKing some flashes and woodcutting because I, I need some low effort skilling on this character for now. 97 Herblore, and the next time we see each other, ladies and gentlemen, will be probably when I will be making those dreadful super energy potions. Uh, so you will not see me making my super restores, but it's the exact same process as with those prayer potions. Make 11, drop 2, decant to 1 those, etc. And I will probably be getting a looting bag, just because I'm... Get starting to keep too many potions and I would rather consolidate them all into one slot into the bag than keep in the inventory and be able to make less and less. Moving on to the last herb we have, Avantos, that means we will be making super energies. So I start my loop, or actually end my loop here at the Grand Exchange after I decanted my potions, then I teleport to home using my concape. I don't have full prayer because of casting bloom the previous run so i drink from my pool not finished last pool so you can bully me for that and then i teleport to bkr and run here to the mark tile i have and this is a spot with two logs there is also a spot with three logs but it's slightly further on and uh, i just prefer this one it's pretty close if i pick from the southern log first then my character will automatically be placed on the tile again so that a very very tiny amount of optimization you can do and since i have mauritania hard diary completed i get double fungi and then i teleport to grand exchange stand on my uim favorite tile and drop 11 mushrooms unnote potions and then make 11 of those and after they are done, I decant at Mr. Bob, barter, pick up those 11 back and a note, and repeat the canting, and then our loop is finished and we can continue. So I make 22 potions each run, and we have 8.3 thousand to go, so definitely we'll stay here for a long time. But after I did Toad Flax with Agility Potions, I think this is faster I was expecting it to be slower, but I think this is faster than Agility Potions, so I'm pretty happy with that. We're hitting 98 Herblore here, and there is nothing more to say than just it's time to put the pedal to the metal and just grind out this 99 and be done with it. I can't wait. The last batch of Super Energy Potions will be done in the Swamp. And I can move on to the last potion I have to make, which is going to be Stamina. I have enough amylase for all of my super energies. Uh, so we will be getting 99 Herblore using Stamina. So I will be moving on and picking up all my amylase. And we will be staying here because I decided I want to keep all of my stamps. So we will be once again decanting here at the GE. I am extremely happy to be here with just 31 experience remaining to finish off the slowest 99 there is, especially on a UIM. And I wrote in the UIM Discord and in the clan chat that I'm hosting a small 99 party and people came here to this picturesque location at Zia, so Let's start a countdown for three, two, one, 99 Herblore has been achieved. Still feels so surreal. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming. Okay, let's buy the cape here in Taverly. May I buy a Herblore skill cape? Here's 99,000 coins. Oh my god.
Unbelievable. Let's do the emote real quick. So many farm runs and all of this planning and all the XP lamps going straight into this one skill. Ah. Speechless. So I will be slowly finishing out all of those potions and in the meantime, thank you truly for watching, for being the part of this journey for me. I really hope you enjoyed this video even though it was just showcasing all of the herb lore methods and nothing really exciting happened in it maybe except the end, at least for me. But we are finishing this video at 2238 total level and we didn't gain any collection log slots uh, so we're still at 311 but we are going hard towards max and then i will be focusing on that log so once again thank you very much for watching and goodbye <laughs>